Hi there, Cheryl from Tootsie Art. Today I'm going to be making coasters. And the colors that I'm going to use are, I'm going to use a white um, background. And I'll use red. This is um, iridescent graphite, so it's a really dark, dark, dark gray. And some gold. And hopefully I'll be able to create some really nice cells for that. And I'm going to add in some black. I have some um, mica powder and this is called carbon black. And so I have some, some black, a Dutch pour, so this, this is Dutch pour um, consistency paint. And so I have some that I made quite a while ago, so I just need to add <laughs> I need to add some water to it to get it to the right consistency. And I want to just add in a little tiny bit. And I'm going to add in the powder. And then I'll pour that in as well. So that'll be added to the color. So we will have the iridescent graphite, but I just want to make sure that um, there's black as well, just to add to the, the colors of this particular palette. Now, again, this is acrylic paint pouring. Uh, this is, I'm just starting to make videos to go up on my YouTube channel. So this will be a video that hopefully will be up there. And we shall see. I'm trying to make them not too too long because that can get quite um, quite boring for you. <laughs> not for me because I'm I'm loving it. All right, so I'm just going to pour a little bit of this into a small one ounce cup. It might be a bit too thick, so I'll just add a little more water to it. just a bit too thick for, for that consistency. And we'll just stir it again. I was going to add the black carbon black mica powder to white, but then I thought, well, it might just get gray, and I don't really want that. So I thought, well, I do have a little bit of this. Um, it seems to be the right consistency for Dutch pork. Yeah, so the opposite end of this, I'm going to, or even just this one is fine now that I've wiped it off, I'm going to just take a little bit of this powder. And the reason I'm doing this is why. I was thinking that maybe this might have been ear like had a glitteriness to it so that's it doesn't look like it though so I'm just adding this in it might be all for naught but giving it a go I'm trying to make sure you can see what I'm doing this is probably way too much black for these tiny little four by four coasters. They are ceramic tile coasters, four by four. And um, I've taped off the back just to protect, like that's just regular painter's tape, to protect the bottom um, so that the paint doesn't get all over the bottom side of the coaster, which it really doesn't matter because I do have cork bottoms that I'll just be, um, cork, uh, like 4 by 4 cork bottoms actually came with these um, coasters when I bought them. So, but it's a good practice to get into um, if you want to have them as neat as possible. So, when you're pouring black on white base, you got to be careful and um, that you don't just get gray, which I'll have to be very careful where I lay that black. So, so the plan is, 
I'm going to put, I've pre-mixed up all these paints. And eventually as I get going with these videos, I'll, if anybody's interested, I'll certainly put the ratio of um, how I mix these paints up. Because it's usually a combination of the paint itself, Floetrol, and water for the Dutch pour. All right, so I'm just going to give these another little wipe off. There's a little bit of dust on that one. Not really dust, but my husband did rearrange this little art studio today and might have stirred up a little dust. That's all right. All right, so I'm just going to pour, oh, sugar, just wait now. I want to make sure I have free access to all the things that I will need. So one thing I'm going to need is my little hair dryer to blow out. This is going to get really messy here in a second. Um, yeah, that'll blow out the paints, and I'm looking into this with my bright light, and I'm not really seeing any shimmery, I'm not seeing any shimmeriness to it, so uh, maybe it's only good for when I'm doing any kind of resin. That's alright, I just made it a little darker black than what was originally in the other cup. All right, so here we go with white. Just want to make sure this is in the middle so that it's level. Because my leveler, <laughs> oh goodness, I don't know where everything got moved to. So uh, I'm going to say this is level. We'll soon find out. I'm just basically coating, giving giving the coasters a coat of paint, and and then I will, uh, without wasting too much of it. You need to make sure there's a full base coat down, and um, the other thing I need is this. So you want to make sure that everything is covered. This is where it gets nice and messy. Okay. These are ceramic white coasters. They're pre-factory made. I, I don't know. They're they're definitely for crafting. The ones I was going to. I've looked around several places and maybe I just need to, I'm not looking at the right places. Um, I've been looking for um, four by four coasters like you can buy in the box. So these are probably a little more expensive, big chunk of something there. Uh, a little more expensive perhaps, I'm not sure. Um, You can see a lot of air bubbles in there right now, so I will be popping those with the with the torch in a second. But anyway, now now all of the uh, surfaces here have a good coat of paint on them, and even the sides. You want to make sure the sides are covered in the white as well. Otherwise, it just looks like white ceramic tile, and we're trying not to do that. All right, so. A little wipe of the hands. A lot of the bubbles are popping on their own, but the bigger ones are doing that, so we'll just have to pop the smaller ones with the blow torch. So here we go. These paints have been sitting for quite a while, uh, maybe two weeks. Not two weeks. Yeah, it's probably been a week and a half since I mixed them all up. So usually the longer they sit, the less um, air in them. 
Now I'm actually all out of butane, so I'll just load it up again. So the plan is to pour a puddle in the middle, just a little bit, uh, right, and then because I want the main color to be red, I never really know, to be honest, I'll have to how I want this to go in gold. So I'm going to do the black, which I'm not going to do that first because I know that that will just give me gray. Um, I could do I'm going to do it this way. Start with the red, and then I am going to do, this one's not in a, a bottle, which is, come on, uh, this was, Trying to make sure it doesn't go on on the white because I don't want the gray. But I mean, I'm going to get a little bit of gray anyway because of the. But clearly, this isn't as. See, it seems to be better. Okay, that's kind of what I want right there. All right, so that's red, black. Now I'm going to put gold on. Oh shoot. I'm trying to follow the same line just for consistency purposes, but what I'm going to do here, it's no big deal when you make a little mistake. You know how to cover your mistakes. And really, in the end, sometimes these mistakes turn into beautiful little um, creations. All right, so now the key is just not to open your stuff over something. <laughs> so you can see this gold is already starting to react. So here we go with just this charcoal. And because I really like the red, I'm putting another little bit of red down. Because I really want, I want red to be obvious in the pour. And if it's too much red, well, I'm soon going to find out. Sliding this back a tiny bit. This particular one. Alright. Should be interesting. I'm hoping these are far enough apart. Let's see. Worst case scenario, if they suck, well, then I just scrape them off. Just form the white over each other. Too. But 
haven't given up yet. Oi, vem. Hmm. Well, wow, there's certainly lots of cells in there. Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Lovely. But now, what I may get is I may get some cells in here pop up. So it might be okay. Oh my. It's more right here I want to have more cells, but I don't know if I'm going to get them. Well, there's need for more white along here. This could be because it's not level. Um, likewise here, there's a lot of, uh, I can see the bare coaster along the sides there. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Oh my heavens. Now, this is a straight up Dutch pour. The ones that I was doing before, the other coasters I did that I shared a picture of on Facebook, Amazon, is um, I tried doing this technique called Shelly Art. So you still, I still used the consistency of paints that I'm using here, but I used this cell activator thing and it just wasn't giving me what I needed. Those coasters are beautiful and they, you know, they're definitely gorgeous, but holy crap, do I ever like this? Okay, I really, 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 really like it. And I am like famous for screwing things up because I go, oh, let me just touch this and touch that. And it's like, yeah, no, don't do it. Get away. Oh my gosh. But again, I don't know. Maybe I have to gesso these coasters to make sure that they have a good coat of white on them so that the paint actually sticks to them. That's probably what I'll have to do next time. Now, I'm just going to, there's a few bubbles. I'm just going to pop them. But I don't know if you can see some of the cells in this. Like, Okay. Uh, I think you can. I can't zoom in with my camera, um, but I'm 
going to stop the film for a second and take you in and see if I can show you that way.